it's, uh, this is a really important area to hone in on for yourselves. So obviously you need the technical ability and that type of thing, but it doesn't necessarily mean trying to uh, uh, memorize or do too much. So it's a balancing act. So uh, cross-training is important. And what everybody talks about cross-training, Bruce Lee was the first one that was martial arts really to bring out cross-training and training different arts. Uh, and that was, you know, a no-no back in the 60s, but uh, he was the one who did it. But now it's almost can become a trap the other way. So anything becomes another circle. So like Bruce Lee talked about, you know, you're stuck basically, I'm trying to put it as plain as I can, that you're, you're within this circle. Okay, so if you do, you know, this is if you're doing, uh, let's say, a particular karate system, then you're stuck in this little circle here. And someone else is doing, you know, uh, jiu-jitsu, they're stuck in this little circle here, and so they're isolated within their art, okay? But now people are cross-training, but sometimes that cross-training just becomes another little circle that you're caught up into. So now you're just trapped again. So it has to go beyond that. So this is some of the philosophical part, and I know some of you are gone, the one we got to do is techniques, and other people are catching what I'm saying, but I'm doing this for the people who are catching what I'm saying. So uh, this is important stuff. So um, if you're if you're just cross training for the sake of cross training, but don't really get any depth out of the cross training, then you you're probably better off training one art. Okay, so you're probably better training one art because you will be better at that art than jumping around. If you're really cross training and you have the time, money, and energy to put into a really good cross training program then it's worthwhile. Or if you look at it as a progress over years. But if you take someone who's only going to spend, you know, two, three years and they're going to cross train, you're probably not going to develop very well in anything because it really, really takes a long time. As anything does. If you want to be a really, really good guitar player, you're not going to be a really, really, really good guitar player. You're not going to be Eric Clapton in three years. You're not going to be Eric Clapton maybe in ten years. It takes a long time. You're not going to be Bruce Lee in three years. You're not going to be a great Thai boxer in three years. Anything, even gifted people who are fantastic, can't be that good in a short period of time. It just takes a lot of experience. So a great Japanese expression that I like, and I don't know if it's going to translate out well, maybe Helen can translate if you can, okay, is knowledge without wisdom is a stack of books on the back of an ass. <rire> la connaissance sans quoi La connaissance sans sagesse, c'est une pile de bouquins. C'est comme si vous preniez votre cul pour une bibliothèque. So what I'm saying is the wisdom. So when you have wisdom in the martial arts, la sagesse. Then let's say the Thai boxing techniques we were doing earlier. You learn those techniques, okay, you did a leg revision, and you come back this way. But if you just do that without the wisdom to know when to do it, how to do it at the right time, then it's just, that would be knowledge without wisdom. And the wisdom gives you the how, when to do it, the right time to do it, the right environment to do it in, okay? If you, a lot of things, if you did in a different environment, like some of the things we did today, if you were in water this deep, you couldn't do it, right? Everybody agree? Mm -hmm. If you were standing in water this deep, you couldn't do this and then try to kick and it's not going to work. If you were in the water until us, you couldn't do this technique. The technique is a total. That's why each thing is adapted. If you were just getting out of your car, you're opening your car door and doing this, you couldn't do what we did today, right? If you were uh, standing on real slippery ice, if you try to do this, you're going to slip and fall, right? So it's environmental is important as well. So again, that's, that's part of the wisdom in martial arts and uh, important part if you're, if you're looking at martial arts, uh, not just as a sport, but something to use, uh, if you had to use it to preserve your life uh, on a street situation and to preserve your life, you need to be aware of environments, you need to be aware of the different situations you might be in. Um, if you're just doing it for sport, and that's it, sport competition, that's a whole different thing, completely different. Some of the attributes that you get from sport, 
you will get some speed, you'll get some power, you'll get some of these things from sports, sports martial arts, but it doesn't necessarily help you carry over into the street if you're not aware of it. So martial arts has to be uh, thought of, mentally at least, in the totality that Bruce Lee talked about. <coughs> so if this is, again, if this is, you know, all of martial arts, and you're training here, this little slice, then this is what you're practicing. So mentally, even if you just practice this, mentally you want to think the whole totality and then beyond uh, in the philosophical aspects of it, okay? So I just want to bring some of this out and uh, just so you think about it. There's no, no answers I need, there's nothing for you to have to contribute right now or whatever, but just think about, this is simple, the attributes. Some of the other ideas are a little bit more difficult, but if you're, some of you guys are young, you're training, and you might just want to kick ass, and you might just want to, you know, go in the ring, and that's great, that's good. But if you, uh, you know, you might, you never know, you might become a martial arts teacher one day, you might be passing this down later on to other generations, and so on, so that's important to, uh, to really call it martial arts, it has to be beyond sport. Okay? It really does. There's martial science, there's martial arts, there's martial